Okay, in this lesson I would like to continue to talk about the calculations that we can do. So, we are going to look at some running calculations here. So, we are going to keep this country column here. We also have this sales column here. We are going to keep it. And for this sales, let's change one thing. If I click on this edit button here, I'll be able to change this and I'm going to choose this percent of total. Okay, perfect. Now, let's close this. Now, let's add another sales column here. Let's drag it and put it here. I'm gonna need to resize this table a bit. Let's resize this column. Also this one. And now we will be working with this third column. If I click on edit button here, I will be able to see that menu that we had. Now we covered these aggregation functions. Also we covered comparison calculations. And now we are able to see this running calculation option. And now let's see what we can do with that. If I click on this, as you can see it's none currently. If I click on that, I will have multiple options. First is running sum. So if I click on that, let's see what will happen. Now we are able to see some values in this column here. So basically what this function does is you can see for this first value it's same like for this one here. And next one is basically this value plus this value. Next one is basically this value plus this value plus this value. So basically it's running total. If we, if we for example see this value here it's just total for all these values here. And now what's important to see is if we scroll down we will be able to see bigger and bigger numbers. And when we reach this last row, we will be able to see our total value because we summed up all these values here. So basically that is running total function. Now let's check other functions. If I click again on this edit button here, if I click on this running sum, instead of running sum, we have some different options. We have this running min option and the running max. So let's click on this first one. Basically they work the same, they just have one difference. Now if you look at this sales column here, we'll be able to see that we have same value for this one. Also for this one and for this one. And if we scroll down, we will be able to see that every time we have same value. So basically what is happening here? At this point of time, this is the lowest value that we have. If we move to the next one, this is next lowest value and so on. Now if I for example, order this ascending, let's see what will happen. We will be able to see this value here, lowest value, and now we will have that value across this sales column. As you can see here, because that is the lowest value in our table. Now we can do the opposite, of course. If I go again to this edit button here, I will be able to, instead of running min, I will be able to choose running max. And this way we will be able to see, in this case, maximum value, it's this one here, if I go down, that is the biggest value in our table, so we will be able to see only that value. So basically that is how this function works. Now let's see other running functions. If I scroll down, I will be able to see this running count. Let's try this function. Let's now see what will happen here. Basically we are just counting our records, and this is first record, second one, third one, and so on. And if we reach the end, we will be able to see that we have 34 records and the biggest number here is 34. So basically, it's just counting each record. Let's check what other options we have. We have also this option running average. If I click on that, let's see what values we will get. If I scroll up, I will be able to see same value here, but for the next one we have some different value. This value basically means this value plus this value divided by 2 because we have two elements included. So basically we are just calculating average for how many records we have. For example, for this one we are summing those values and dividing by 3 and so on. So it's also simple calculations but very interesting and it can be useful in your data analysis. So let's go back to this option. Let's click on this. We have also option running delta. So let's see what this option can do. If I click on that, I'll be able to see first value here because we don't have any difference between this element and previous element because we don't have any previous elements and that's the reason why we see this value here. 
and if we go down, if we check this one, basically the difference is 24 millions. And how is that so? It's because if we subtract this value from this value, we will be able to see this difference. So basically that is difference between this and this number. Also if we check next one, this is difference between this value and this value here. It's also a very simple function, but also we could use it for data analysis. We have only one more function left. If I click on this button here, I'll be able to see, let's see, a running percentage delta. So basically, we have absolute number here, and if we click on this option, we'll be able to see the difference just in percentage. We have this null here, because as I explained earlier, we don't have any previous values. So this is the first value, and now we are able to see difference between this and this number. Okay, with this I'm going to conclude this lesson. See you in the next one.